This beat goes crazy. Whoa! What? <laughs> wow. It's you. What are you doing? Hello everyone, hello Midzy. Welcome to our Mr. Vampire Reaction. This is their second pre-release single off of their 2024 EP, Born to Be. Mr. Vampire discusses the thrill of falling in love through vampire-inspired metaphors. They sing, white and pretty teeth, my blood becomes sweeter and sweeter, my heart beat beats like a bird, bite me, bite you, boom, boom. <laughs> the song is composed by Kobe, Holy M, Easy IT, Noemi, Legrand, and Sophia Quinn. This video is brought to you by you, our YouTube members and supporters on Patreon. Patreon and YouTube memberships are how viewers like you can support us and also gain access to exclusive content like extra reactions to both old and new K-pop songs, early access to every React to the K video, a weekly podcast, which uh -huh. I posted on my Instagram story and I was like, don't even recommend me songs. I'm only gonna listen to I Got You. And then I listen to this song and like, forget everything I said yesterday. I am listening to this song on repeat nice. and I've stayed true to it. Excellent. It's so addicting. And a series where we rank every title track in an artist's discography every month. If you want to become a patron or YouTube member to help our channel grow and to access over 1,000 exclusive videos, check out the description of this video for how to join. A huge thank you to all of you who already support us. We really couldn't do this without you. And now, back to the video. Let's do it together, ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh sheesh, I'm about to butt a move. This beat goes crazy. Whoa. What? <laughs> wow. It's you. What are you doing? I was not expecting that from the intro. <laughs> this is interesting. The piano almost reminds me of a harp sound. I wonder who they sampled. Uh, or if it's just like a part of the song. Maybe it's just how it's like uh, doing the gliss up really fast, mm. like a harp would. Oh no, something's gonna happen. That's cool. The sound effects? Can you turn it up? This beat's kind of goofy, but it works. That'll work. <laughs> Doesn't that sound like another song that we know? Adding in some pads behind the classical piano helps us interpret it in a different way, so it doesn't feel too repetitive. Ryujin's got that soft rap thing completely figure it out. Every time she comes up, I'm like, oh, that's noteworthy. That's a lot of range contrast from where Ryojin was singing. I like the little stops in the sound. Like, you can hear it in the harp and in the bass. I like the um, arpeggiation I of love the piano that. in the back. It's dreamy. I love that little synth thing, man. This is so groovy! Yeah. Yeah, I like how like all the vertical, like it doesn't, it kind of hits notice distinct pitches, but it's a bit vague on exactly where they are intonation-wise. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only correct reaction. To this. <laughs> oh, there you go. That's excellent. Same chords. I like the rhythms of the melodies in that section. There's a lot of harmonies in here that are just like a little bit off. Like just barely off. It, like very on purpose. It's like almost eerie. Cha Young High Note. Wait. It's so good. <laughs> oh, that thing will never get told. <laughs> this redhead, she's just like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Five one five one five one, but it's still it's kooky and it's quirky. It's a weird one. Super cool though. Wow. Mm. Wow. Sick chorus. 
I I love that. Yeah, the chorus is. I so wish it like epic. kept on going. I, I could just listen to it yeah. over and over. Yeah, again. exactly. <laughs> that melody, that sound, that pitch, everything about that track. It's just it's, so like. <laughs> yeah. It like tick. It like scratches my it brain. Does, does yeah. It does. Does it so well? I just it's kept so on nice. wanting it to go, and I was like, oh, they're done. I just got lost in the groove of it because. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was cool. It it again reminded me of that Jason Derulo song. Yes. Wiggle 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 wiggle. wiggle. I think it's it's really sweet and it might be their vocal register like you were saying, mm. but the vibe is so like super sugary, you know. Yeah. So cool. oh, it's like yeah. wing <laughs> unicorns. <laughs> It was, I, I liked the instrument, instrumentation more, so I was listening to yeah. like a lot of the backing track. No, the beat's goofy, but it's like a cool goofy. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's I, like... It was immediately like... It was immediately kind of, yeah, yeah, appealing, oh, appealing and goofy. goofy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like no beef. I like it. It's goofy though. <laughs> wow, totally. okay, okay. Which section is most appealing to you guys for this song? That, from this first listen, it's every time the, the drop happens and I sort of get refreshed, like, oh, this still works. Yeah. Is that. Yeah. Totally. I know. But I think the overall song is really strong. We had a fan wondering what was so hypnotizing about the verse. Let's re-listen. Oh, of course. We were asking about that thing. Oh, you're right. There is a flat six. Yeah. Major seven, add nine. Is he correct? I guess. <laughs> what's, the, what's the nine? Yeah. And then. That, I mean, any piano arpeggio that's mixed so well would be, um, what was the word, hypnotizing enough. But with, especially with this really lush chord, and yet it's still a thinner part of the texture. It's like a butterfly flying out of your ear, but not <laughs> not like graphic, like the most fairy tale type of that image. We could call this a fairy tale type beat. Okay. Oh yeah. sure, I like it, I like it. Every, the piano was really cool. The chords were crazy. It was just four chords the entire time. Really? Yeah. What? It was just this, and then this, and then this, and then this. And that was it. Really? Yeah. And then just F. Like major seven. There was simply there. There must have been more extensions. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Why is your you're making that face? I don't know. I was just expecting it to that. be more crazy. I think the openness of the major sevens makes it feel so like kind of chill. Yeah. It's a very chill vibe. And I think that's what takes a lot of the stress out of it, especially when you have like beep boop beep boop in the top, which is like, I guess it can kind of have an unsettling feeling if you listen too hard to it, but the harp sounds keep it really open. 1000% agree that the verse is very hypnotizing, but then the goofy sample during the chorus, because it's like, okay, the vibe at the beginning, if you ever heard the piece Un Barque sur la Ocean with these like, it's got these really gorgeous like piano like melodies up and down. It's like, it's a very hypnotizing thing on its own. That's kind of the vibe I get from that. That's, it's, it's very transcendent kind of thing. But then once, once the melody comes in, it turns into like, drop it like it's hot. It is very interesting when it glisses in and then it suddenly lines up with a melody note just right. It's very satisfying. And like that does catch your, like scratch my brain. Like when it goes, dun dun. I think that's like satisfying in maybe a hypnotic way. This is what I was hearing. The piano would do like a gliss up and then like it would immediately like dampen. And then the other goofy sound would like overtake it. So it's just kind of like two things popping out. And then the piano had that thing again and then it would dampen another thing would come out and then it would repeat the same thing. So that's like for me why I thought it was cool because it's like you're just hearing two things at once and it's coming at you. Not, well at the same time, but I feel like my brain personally is processing it as two things jumping out. It feels almost like a cross shape kind of thing. Yeah, sort of. Call and answer type. Yeah. yeah, that's a good way to explain it. They do fit together. I don't know, I think all the little sounds in the background there are kind of crazy. Just like an kind of ear candy sound, like a high sound, just like a kind of 
Yeary rotating sound just there, like supporting the drums. This is a song where they took many different samples and kept using them, but I didn't get tired of them. Yeah. I want to steal the stem. No! <laughs> How did they make such a good sound? And th and that's a very unique sound I've never heard of. It sounds like they pitched like a, you know, like the... Oh! Whoa. It kind of sounds like they pitched that. Yeah. Doesn't it? That's so that breathy. Cool. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think... This might not be made in a synthesizer even. No. Mm. Might be just like hardly sampled stuff. Mm -hmm. I, I have no idea. Because it doesn't sound like all, all, all kinds of like the, the four wave type. Right. It might be like an organically like made sound that they then pitched. Yeah, or or there's just a super genius uh, person out there who was yeah. like really cracked at pitching that sound. Yeah, <laughs> like normally. <laughs> wow. But I'm trying to figure out when, even though they use looping samples, why did I never get tired of them? Maybe it's because it was syncopated, and also their sounds that I don't think I've ever heard in any other song. There, there was also just like a lot of activity in them. Mm. Like I feel like if the piano had just been. Or something like you probably would have gotten kind of bored of it. Like it's a nice progression, but, yeah, but because it's like they had constantly, very, yeah, little boopy boop boop boop, and, and like then dee da dee da da, the yeah. triplet to slow down because before the rate of the notes, <laughs> I'm like the longer it's been since I graduated college, <laughs> the sillier the way that I describe music becomes. <laughs> the note fastness. The note fastness of the boop de boop doop boop boop piano playing <laughs> um, almost emanates like a harp sound because of how yeah, fast that lick was, right? Um, and so then when they slow it down to the triplet feel, da 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 dee da da, it feels very virtuosic. It felt like there was rubato in within the sample and that adds like a level of interest to what is like a repeating loop mm -hmm. chopped up sample. And especially since I think they took that and in the second verse they only use like broop, 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 like even shorter bits mm. and pieces of that. So there's just like a lot of creativity and time spent changing up how the audience hears the samples even though like it might be the same one repeated throughout. They all have really nice distinct voices. Whoever is singing that last chorus has such a beautiful voice. <laughs> I don't, like, have no idea who that is, but I love her voice and I think she sounds gorgeous. Like I noticed, is, it, is the girl with the pink hair their rapper? Yeah, she typically raps. Oh. Wow, she but she has a really so gorgeous good. voice. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I could tell that she was. I'm starting to catch on to these roles. How could you tell? She just had that vibe, and she was. <laughs> the vibe. Her, well, that's when I said like, oh, it was much more rhythmically active. Like she had, she had a lot to say. But it was cool. It was a nice difference because their voices sound so pretty gliding on top of that like awesome beat. It's a, like, such a nice contrast to have like the beat and then the beautiful arpeggiated chords and then their strong voices also on top. It adds so much texture, but then for her to also then be rapping, it's just like another addition to the texture. It's a really like nice, dense song. Woo, nice, it's both, um attitude -y and under and is underspoken the word understated understated is both attitude -y and understated and lush and colorful at the same time so really solid release yeah whoa whoa, whoa. cool sounds yeah. ooh ooh yes we well, usually would have a part like this oh she's just throwing them wait a minute Yo! Do vampires go roar? That's the question. What does the vampire say? Ring ding ding ding. ding. <laughs> <laughs>